hi there thank you very much for joining me today and i hope that you like today's project today we are making this gorgeous gorgeous double d card you can see all the details you can see the beautiful mirrored cardstock you can add sentiment here or here on this panel this closes up like this and it folds flat you can easily pop this in an envelope to mail or if you want to add embellishments on the front you can absolutely put this in a box and you can easily mail it uh, it does not require a lot of stuff but yes it does require a bit more of material than the simple cards but uh, you can see that this has turned out great uh, it has space on the back for you to write your personal message as well and I'm just pleased with how it has turned out so let's just begin and see how it's done for this card we are going to need a little bit of more stuff than the usual cards and for this card I'm going to be using the pattern paper from this booklet that is the homemaker paper collection it has 47 designs and it says for all occasions there are great designs to be used on everyday cards get will soon cards there are floral images there are fruit images uh, these would make great cards for pets uh, birthday uh, this is birthday confetti this looks great again floral this is beautiful design and uh, hearts stripes you name it and there's all so this came with one of the paper craft magazines i can't recall what issue it was because this is really an old collection and for the mats i'm going to use this mirrored cardstock which i bought from amazon and one of my friends sourced it for me from america so let's just get on with the things that we need for the card so for the card we are going to need a piece of cardstock that measures 10 and a half inches by 7 inches because this card is going to measure 7 by 5 5 inches yes so on the long side which is the 10 and a half inches side you're going to score at half an inch at 3 inches at five and a half inches okay then you're going to need another piece of cardstock which is five inches by seven inches please ignore the score line i by mistake drew this and on the short side the five inches side you're going to score down at two and a half inches okay then for the pop out mechanism you're going to need two pieces of cardstock that measure three inches by six inches and on the six inch side you're going to score at three inches you're going to do this for both the pieces of the cardstock okay let's just begin constructing the card now i'm going to fold and burnish all of my score lines quickly so the longest cardstock that we just scored you're going to fold this half inch tab as a mountain fold sorry as a valley fold then this is going to be the mountain fold and the and then the third one is going to be a valley fold again and this is the five by seven part this is going to be pasted over like this or you can paste it on top of the tab as well i think i'm going to paste it on the top so i'm going to put glue over this half inch tab here And I'm going to attach these two pieces together. And then you're going to get two mountain folds like this and one valley fold like this. Okay. This is going to be the front of our card. Now let's come to the mats and layers. This is the piece that is going to come over here and the mat layer measures four and three quarters by six and three quarters and the layer measures four and a half by six and a half
I'm going to paste it here. Make sure you get an equal border on all four sides. For these four panels, you're going to need four layers, four pieces of the red mirror cardstock that measures two and a quarter by six and three quarters, and the floral pattern that measures two inches by six and a half inches. You're going to need four of these as well, okay? And for the pieces that are going to go on these pop out panels, the mat layer is going to be two and three quarters squared and the layer, the floral pattern is going to be two and a half squared, okay? This is the sentiment panel and I have again matted the white cardstock on red mirror cardstock and this measures, the red mirror cardstock measures three and three quarters by five and three quarters and the white cardstock measures three and a half by five and a half okay i'm going to paste it here i'm just going to speed up the process for all this pasting and then i'll come back okay so once the pasting is all done what we're going to do is we're going to take these three by six pieces of cardstock and what you're going to do is you're going to put your card this way so that you have your both two score lines as mountain folds and you're going to place it like this which is going to give your card that double d sh card shape okay but for the reference point i would like you to consider the edge of this golden mirror card over here so that it is straight as well and then when you open the card you get that shape properly okay so I'm just going to place these here and see that they are equally spaced out and then I'm going to add glue to you know join these here okay so now I think these are equally spaced out I am just going to lift these here and just going to put glue just at the edge of it because because you don't want to overdo it so just very carefully I am going to line this edge of this folded card here with the edge of the red mirrored cardstock and I'm going to press over here like so I think this is the easier way of doing it rather than putting glue on the other side first and then you know closing the card and putting glue over here I found that this is much easier than that but you can obviously work out your way of making it however it suits you so I'm going to put glue again on the inside of it aligning both the edges and then just pressing it here so that it sticks just give it a moment to dry out now open the card and you're going to just take these out like this fold them over put glue here just a little bit of it on both of these and now what you're going to do is oops you are going to close the card actually I'm going to pick both and what you're going to do is you're going to close the card like this again and now when I open the card oops there's glue but okay i'll use my glue eraser to erase the glue now when you open the card you see that you get that card shape and it's turned out really really pretty uh, what you can do is i have used the same pattern paper for 
this side of the card and a different one for here you can absolutely change these you can add sentiments on these blocks or you can add any other pattern paper you can leave them blank however you may like and then there's this piece of cardstock that measures three and a half by five and a half and i'm going to paste this on the back of the card for you to add your personal message so i'm going to quickly put some of the glue at its back I went ahead with my glue eraser and tidied up all the edges. I removed extra bits of glue from the card and I'm really pleased with the result of this card. I'm really really happy with how it has turned out. I hope that you have liked today's project as well and the one who receives this card when you make it uh, is glad to receive this too. So please consider subscribing my channel if you haven't already and do give a thumbs up if you have liked the video. Please share this video with your friends and families and other crafty members that you know and I would be talking to you soon. Take care. Bye.